Welcome to the BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense and I have the great privilege and pleasure of holding BIF Talks with directors, actors and other guests of this festival. BIF Talks is an open discussion format in which we want to have a closer look on the films we will be showing on this festival and on the people that are behind them. And today my guest is Luana Bajrami, right? Right. How is your film called? The Hill Where Lionesses Roll. Lionesses? Lionesses, why not lions? <laughs> because they are girls. And they're living in a small town in Kosovo, right? Yeah. How about those three girls? How did you develop the screenwriter? You are the screenwriter as well, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was pretty fast. I think the idea of the film just slept in me for a long time. And yeah, it just it's all fictional, but it comes from my experience and people I met, and so yeah. You're also part of the cast in this film. You have a little, little role. Um, what is your relationship towards this role? Uh, I wasn't supposed to do it in the beginning, but at the end I did, and I think it was great because it's like emphasizes the metaphor of this character and my place also in the film and in the script. Like it was kind of a critic of me, of myself, just watching to these girls, to this youth in Kosovo and being fascinated by it and also being fascinated by the place. So yeah, weird relationship with this character, but great. Talking about um, you being part of the cast and not being part of the cast, most uh, of our audience, I guess, will know you from uh, the film you were part of, a young a portrait of a young woman in flames, right? And now you were the director of a film. How did that change your perception of film in general, or what was your experience like as a director? Um, it, it was something I always wanted to do. Like I think I get into films as an actress to be a director. It was my school in a way and it just my acting experience helped so much the directing thing and otherwise like after when i get back on set as an actress i just felt better where was my place how i can create a link with the director you know it helps a lot i think one nourishes the other and then again your your main characters the three girls they don't do too much talking, and yet again the lionesses roar. How about that? What, what is it about that these lionesses need to roar and not to be quiet? I think it takes place in Kosovo, but I wanted to talk about youth in general, such in a universal way. And the fact, the fact that they don't talk that much and they just scream, like screaming is a thing common. Lions, the roaring is a common thing above or worldwide. So, yeah, in a way it's a bit weird because I wanted to give voice to this youth and they don't talk so much. Because like when you're quiet for a long time, you don't have words anymore to tell what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And like, like you said, the problems being portrayed in this film, family problems, responsibility for the family also, they're portrayed in a very subtle way. How did, you, how did you deal with that? The dialogues are very rare, like I said. Um, how did you prepare your actresses for that? A month of coaching and being together. No, for real, um, it was important to create the group together for them to be really friends on screen, I mean. And I just prepared such... My characters were living before on the script uh, phase. So I could tell them the background of all of those girls and those characters. And they just mixed it up with themselves. So And they just experienced all of that, you know, even close or far from them. So it was quite natural. Even if we worked on it, it was natural. I'd like to have a comment on one line in, which I really liked in your film and those girls, those three girls form a band, right? And they begin to behave 
not like very legally. And in one, uh, in one part, um, some one of your girls says, don't worry, they're not going to catch us. They'll probably think we're guys anyways. <laughs> How, what is it about this? So, patriarchal, I mean, it's the same thing in France also and everywhere. Uh, but in Kosovo, most of all, like, no girls will do that, you know? So, they're breaking the rules. And they know it. What relationship do you have with the landscape portrayed in this film? I was very impressed by the landscapes shown there. It looks idyllic, but yet again, it's not that idyllic, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's my hometown, I mean, where I grew up. And it was so important for me to show those places. And what was weird is that I came back, I was nine in France, so I still had this child gaze of those places. It was important to me to portray them in this way. Even if it's it's kind of a miserable thing sometimes, you know. And your film is nominated uh, also for the Heinrich, which is the Audience Award, and the Volkswagen Financial Services Award. If you would win, would you do a raw on stage? Or how would what would your reaction be like? I will be really happy for the film, for the team. It's funny because we never were roared anywhere. Like, it's, it's the thing everybody waits for us, but we didn't do it yet. Maybe that will be the first time. And you will be doing Q&As also. Um, what are you expecting from that? Like, you're going to a German audience as well, in a very different kind of festival. You're at a festival again. How does that feel, to be in contact with the audience? Uh, that's my favorite part, I think. Even it's a bit stressful, yeah, like, because you, I, it's interesting how audiences react in a different way from each country, from each places, from each cultures, and yeah, it's with this festival, it's the premiere of the film in Germany, so quite interesting, and I like the the exchange with the public, so. And after that, I assume this won't be your last work as a director. Are there any projects coming up? Are we looking forward to anything? I'm working on the second one, yeah. Still preparing. Sounds promising. Thank you a lot. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And thank you for this talk. And have a great stay here. Thank you.